Okay, what I'm going to do here is give you a quick demonstration on how to use the Ubuntu Antivirus Live CD in order to rid a Windows-based system of any viruses. Uh, the system automatically is set to default boot your uh, Live CD in 30 seconds. You don't have to do anything. Just let it set and it will boot up automatically or you can just hit the enter button and it will start the system for you. Um, main thing to make sure is that in your uh, BIOS you have your system set to boot from CD first. Uh, that's the main change you need to have. After that the system boots up. Please keep in mind that this is going to be running off a CD and not off your hard drive. So depending on the speed of your CD reader this may run a little slower than your normal computer. Uh, that's okay. That's just the limitations of the hardware. Okay, once the screen gets up, it's very simple. Uh, there are boxes here with information that take you step by step through the entire process. The uh, welcome screen just tells you uh, that first off, uh, this is a, a uh, simple antivirus CD made with uh, Avast antivirus and malware bytes. Um, the Avast on this is a native Linux version uh, and uh, Malwarebytes is a Windows based program and uh, I, I used this in conjunction with Wine in order to make it work. Uh, it's not an official distribution, it's just a, uh, something I've thrown together myself um, but it does do a good job of cleaning uh, Windows based computers. Um, I've used it many times before. It gives you the option of yes and no to continue. If you choose no, then that's it. You know, it's over with. We're going to click yes. It tells you exactly what to do. Go to your My Computer icon, and we're going to load up our Windows drive, which I'm using a virtual system here, so it's not a very big hard drive. One click there, highlight this, copy it can minimize that go ahead click OK now wine's going to be loading here in just a second when wine loads we will uh, add our drive for one so we'll go up here to drives now depending on how many CD drives you've got installed in your uh, computer will depend on the drive letter you get uh, this has already got two drives in it so our new drive is going to be drive F We'll click OK, and then right down here we'll highlight, and then we'll paste that. That is our Windows drive, OK? So now we can just click Apply, and then OK. All right, now it's time for Avast to get ready to start. Uh, the first thing you'd want to do is go ahead and click the Update Database and this will take some time because the uh, the update that it downloads from the Avast server takes about, it, it's, it's pretty large, it's about 48 megabytes so depending on the speed of your internet it could take some time uh, there was a way to make this automated, I left it as manual because there may be times when you don't have access to the internet to be able to download the most updated version of the database that's the, that's the reason I left that where it's manual. You can update or not uh, depending on whether or not you have internet access where you're working. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pause this video while this is downloading and then we'll start back up once it's finished. Okay, now it's finished with its update. The next thing we do is we go to selected folders right here. We click this little green arrow and then we go right here and we paste what was already copied earlier. This is our Windows drive. Click OK. And then now all we've got to do is just come down here and click 
start scan. And while that's going, we can okay out of that. Get out of that. <clears throat> and this will run through every file on your Windows drive. When it eventually runs into a virus, and I put some uh, fake viruses on here, uh, test viruses uh, from a company called Spycar, just to show how this works. Um, when it does find a virus, I'll show you how exactly what it does and, and how, to, uh, how to delete them. Okay, it just found a virus. Uh, all you have to do is just click um, move to chest because it will give you the recommended action. So we'll just say recommended actions move to chest. Uh, so you can just click move to chest. And if you don't want to have to do this for every virus on the machine, just click uh, move all and it will take care of all the viruses that it finds. So we'll just go ahead and we'll click move all and every single virus that it finds on this Windows based machine here it will uh, take care of for you. There will be no more user interaction that you have to deal with. So you can just let the machine run, let it do its, do its thing. So I'm going to pause uh, the recording and let this finish its scan and when it comes up I'll show you the results. Okay, when the scan's done, it pops up the results saying uh, what it's done with each of the files. Um, it'll tell you the uh, infections that it's found and that it has already moved those to the chest. Uh, it may find some errors on, on some files that it could not scan. Uh, those are something not to worry about. Those are just usually uh, system files that there's not a problem there but anyway when that's done click uh, close and you can then go ahead and click quit now it'll tell you that your vast scan is now complete and it will give you the option to uh, run a scan with malware bytes. You can click yes or no. We're going to go ahead and click yes. Now it'll tell you malware bytes is getting ready to run. Uh, earlier versions of this CD I've made, uh, malware bytes was not able to be updated. I've now fixed that, and you can update uh, malware bytes with the latest virus definitions. So that's that's definitely a plus. Um, after you get done running your scan with Malwarebytes here, I still highly suggest that you download Malwarebytes uh, on your on your Windows machine and run it directly from that just to pick up any leftovers that happen to be left. Uh, Malwarebytes also cleans out the Windows registry. Since this is using the, the Wine registry that is in Linux, it can't clean the registry on your Windows drive, which is why I recommend running Malwarebytes in Windows after you've cleaned it with this CD. So, after we run this, we're going to click OK. Uh, Malwarebytes is getting ready to, in, to start. Um, just uh, run a full scan of the drive that you've designated your Windows drive. Uh, in, this particular demonstration we chose F. Uh, it depends on what drive you set your Windows drive for. You don't need to run a, a scan on C or Z as that's a part of uh, the live CD's filing system so you can uncheck those. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click OK. We'll wait for Malwarebytes to boot up here take just a second or two and like I said we're going to pick a full scan you click scan we're going to uncheck 
C and Z and we're going to go ahead and put a check mark on F because if you remember when we first set up our our Windows Drive and Wine we chose F uh, like I said that's that file letter is just whatever you happen to pick when you first uh, set things up so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this scan ready to go so we'll just click scan and we'll let it do its thing um, as you can see it's already found uh, two infections and it will keep running until it finds all the infected files I'm gonna pause this and let it finish its scan and I'll pick up the recording when it's done scanning okay once your scans completed it'll say that the scans successfully completed so all that's left is just to do what it says click OK and then show results and then you can just go in here and go ahead and click remove selected alright and then just go ahead and click let that close that out and you can click yes no it doesn't matter it's not going to reboot the system and that's it now your system's clean I would still suggest running uh, a scan of I would still suggest running a scan of malware bytes from within Windows just to make sure to catch any leftover files that may have been left over and then it gives you the option to shut your computer down you can click yes and the computer's going to start shutting down you're not going to see all these white and orange letters when you do it that's just uh, parts of uh, the uh, virtual system I'm using I'm using virt uh, uh, virtual box by Sun and it's just incompatibilities there uh, but when it, when it gets done you'll see here it'll say please remove installation media because it'll pop the CD out uh, just take the CD out of the tray and hit enter and you're done and it'll be closed down and gives you your deal back so once again uh, thank you so much for your time uh, if you uh, see any get any use out of this program I would definitely ask that you click the uh, donate button that's on the on the screen of your uh, CD uh, and and donate just a little bit just to help for the development cost thank you so much I do appreciate it